this Thursday, March 11th. Sorry for that shitty quality podcast the other day. I, uh, I forgot that there's still some flaws to this, uh, to this app. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get on the road here. But, yeah, did I, uh, give up the date? March 11th, Thursday? Ah, uh, how are everybody, how is everybody doing? <coughs> Sorry, I've been super busy lately. Um, I just, I'm so tired of my job, to be honest. I don't think I can understate it. Um, yeah, you know, anything I try to do, I just get f- effed over, you know, I... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I just, uh, I hate working with, uh, certain personality traits and, uh, certain generations, I guess you can just cut it down to that because, uh, we just work on a different plane, right? It's not, you can't have a, like a goal oriented team because there's so much that differentiates between the generations, right? Like, you can have, you know, like in basketball, right? You have old heads, but it's because of how it's not necessarily that they're um, athletic. You know, they could probably still score. They can still rebound. They can still do, you know, uh, produce stats, but maybe not as efficiently as a 22-year-old or a 26-year-old or a 30-year-old. Uh, but you still want to get the Vince Carter, you know, the Tracy McGrady's, try to think, like, who are, uh, who's still out there right now. Um, you know, Richard Jefferson was a good example a few years ago. Um, dang, really can't come up, like, I don't know, you know, like, um, Mark Gasol, I guess, you know, uh, you have these people that you bring on your team because they are they bring knowledge they have a lot of experience you know and they want to give back they want to help younger players you know and you know okay so the best example Carmelo Anthony you know people were giving him a lot of shit because uh, you know they saw him as a ball hog you know and he was you know going to all these teams and uh, just underproducing and this and that, uh, but then, you know, um, now he's beloved because you can see that he's trying to give back to his community, trying to uh, uh, give back to the younger generations, to younger players, and holy crap, dude, every single day that I've gone to work, uh, these last two weeks, I've seen, and I've gone to different routes, you know, and every single time I've seen, um, cops, you know, and I haven't, like, it's been a while since I've seen that, just, uh, cops with, uh, speedometers trying to catch people on speed traps, uh, but yeah, so I was, actually, that brings up, uh, another thing I want to talk about, so on Monday, I went out, and I, you know, I, I, uh, requested the day off, even though, you know, people still blew me up and still put me out of my uh, mood. But either way, I, I was able to go down to a shelter down in uh, uh, about 45 minutes away from Salt Lake. And I picked up a doggo from the shelter, you know, and uh, I don't know what to call him. You know, I uh, kind of got forced into calling him Dex, but I don't know, it's just not sticking. But we'll see how it goes but yeah he's such a cute dog I think he's a uh, Portuguese like mix uh, Pekingese I can't really say it but uh, that's what they think it is you know I really want to get a uh, a test but I don't want to spend $170 for a test 
uh, to know what breed and whatnot it is, but he's so cute. I don't know if he, he's uh, a special, special boy. Oh, there you go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm happy. I'm, <laughs> you know, even though this fucking job, you know, is kind of, uh, pulling me to shreds, um, things generally are getting better, you know, and, uh, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, getting closer and closer. Um, I just got to get myself in a better mood, better health, and uh, good things will come. But um, on another point, I uh, want to talk about your son, Ilya Slovia. You know, oh man, uh, I want it, you know, and I've been, there's been a lot of things that came up this week that I've wanted to make videos on, but um, just didn't have the time or the motivation, you know to uh, do anything these last couple couple days, weeks, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna, uh, I had an idea a while back to do a, uh, should the jazz sign your son, Ily Solova video. <laughs> uh, and I just kind of want to point to the fact that he was like a, 37 year old or something like that uh, that is uh, written you know that's that says he's 35 you know, I don't know if you guys heard that conspiracy before uh, but I think he would have been uh, would be what I was thinking he would be a great fit you know just uh, thinking outside the box knowing that the jazz are never the uh, Go to destination for you know the big name free agents. You know, I, Kevin Love, he's gonna get bought out. I don't know if he'd go to the Jazz, you know, that'd be gnarling. I knew Blake Griffin was gonna, you know, and I actually called it a while back. I, I even posted on, on a few comments in the, on some YouTube pages. I was like, you know, Blake Griffin's gonna get bought out and he's gonna go to the Brooklyn Nets. And lo and behold, it happened. And uh, the funny thing about it was, um, yeah, I called it. I guess that was the funny thing about it. Oh, man. Um, but, yeah, so he's a big boy. He's going to help guard, you know. Uh, he's a good he's a good defensive player, I guess, maybe, on certain players. Um, I don't know, really, but he can spread the floor. You know, he can hit some trees. And uh, he has some size. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, it's the best. I, the Jazz were missing some some guy like that. You know, we were really really weak in, in, in the uh, in the front court. But hopefully, this veteran, you know, unlike my team, this veteran might be able to uh, be a positive contributor. To a certain extent, I don't, you know, I really have not much of an opinion right now just because I haven't really been in, uh, enveloped in the in NBA lately just because of how busy I've been with, uh, um, with uh, work and uh, de-stressing after work, I guess, <laughs> fuck, just, uh, I don't know, I'm really sick and tired of this job, oh, I just need a change, I think I need to, you know, um, just force a change, uh, so, you know, one of those big steps for me is getting D DACA, you know, once I get DACA, you know, I think, uh, I'll be in a much better position to make some moves. Go ahead. Oh, 
this is the worst freaking uh, stop sign I could have uh, ever imagined. Anyways, I'm uh, gonna get my lunch today. I'm here at the Chick Fil A. Um, you know, it's the best I can do right now. There's this new shop. It's called Jersey Mike Subs. Kind of wanted to try them, but uh, at the same time, I just always forget they're there. Um, and at this point, with this shitty piece of shit Chick Fil A line, it's too late. Can't do anything about it. Who else do you guys think is gonna get treated? Oh, hold on. Holy cow, it's kind of busy. Busy, 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 busy. These shakes look good. I haven't had a shake in a while. Should I get a shake? You can tell I'm depressive. depressed when uh, you... Uh, when I'm uh, super gluttonous, I guess. Takes me back to my uh, teenage days when I stopped playing basketball. Um, do I have anything else to say? Probably not anything nice to say. You know what they say? Whenever you have nothing else to say, better to not say anything at all. So let's call it a night. Let's call it a day. Thank you for tuning in if you did, and uh, have a wonderful day. Toodaloo.